Okay, hi. Um, my name is Christine Venting. I am the head of Special Collections, and I'm joined today by my colleague there, a rare book librarian, Beth Raymock. And it's November 20th, and we are opening the Morton Marcus uh, Poetry Archive today. And um, we're in Special Collections Reading Room. This is the first day that we've been open today, and we're very proud to be opening with the Marcus Archive. So behind me, you can see we have all of our um, boxes of Mort's papers, and um, the papers are all going to be included in the finding aid, which will be an electronic inventory that will be available online for the public to view. And then all of Mort's material will be available um, in special collections for research. The archive itself includes correspondence, um, appearances in journals. There are over uh, 1,300 books on poetry. Uh, of course, um, we have a full run of everything that Mort published. Um, we also have some artwork and some posters and some photographs. And as you can see up on the screen behind me um, are some of the photos that we have um, digitally that show Mort from <laughs> his very, very early days, <laughs> the aspiring poet, all the way up to um, some of the ones from uh, 2008, 2009. So um, behind us, um, over here, we have um, some cases that include some correspondence um, and uh, also some of our um, recordings that we have uh, digitally made from the poetry show that uh, Mort, of course, um, headlined and uh, these all of the recordings have been cataloged and so we're very proud to have um, all of this material available to the public which gives not only uh, Mort's voice but also the voice of all these other poets. Um, let me think if there's something else here. Of course we have an example of Mort's um, memoir, Striking Through the Masks, and which of course beyond um, telling Mort's uh, story also is a wonderful um, reference tool for all of the uh, Santa Cruz literati, so we're very um, happy to have that. It's uh, actually a wonderful index uh, for all of the uh, writers in Santa Cruz. Um, let's see, we have some very unusual items, which include some of the actual drawings that uh, Gary Brown did um, for the Santa Cruz Mountain Poems, and these are very beautiful um, uh, drawings, charcoal drawings, uh, pen, pencil, uh, drawings, and I think um, it's wonderful to have original material in here beyond the secondary material that we have as well. And it has, this has a very touching little uh, note from uh, Gary Brown to uh, Mort and Donna, um, uh, giving, and in time for their marriage, um, giving um, some, I, I believe it was a gift of these, of these the last drawings. Of the, drawings yeah. the last of the drawings, right. And uh, of course, beyond um, being a poet, Morton was also very involved as a, an educator in Santa Cruz. So we have some of his material that he used for lectures, poetry lectures, at Cabrillo College. And uh, you can see that not only is he interested in his own work, but also in the work of many others. So um, is there, I think that's pretty much it. Um, we welcome people to come to Special Collections and use um, the Morton Marcus papers. Um, we will be open in January, so we welcome uh, researchers at that time. And the 